My name is Greg Greenberg with Hanna Instruments, and today I'm going to demonstrate the HI98127 waterproof pH pocket meter. When you receive your instrument, it's going to come in a box that looks exactly like this. What's inside the box? Number one is the meter. Number two, calibration certificate. Number three, the electrode removal tool, and number four, and most importantly, the directions. Next, I'd like to show you some unique features of the 98127. First of all, it has an easy to read large LCD display. Simple two button operation, and one of my favorite features is the removable electrode. Now when I open up the meter, you're going to see two individual probes. Number one is the exposed temperature sensor and number two is the pH electrode itself. With the tool that comes in the box, you're simply going to take the tool, you see the two notches, and it's an easy turn and twist operation. I'm going to turn, twist, take the other end of the tool, and again simply pull the electrode out of the meter. When I have my replaceable electrode, or replacement, I'm going to take my replacement and I'm simply going to put it back in the way it came out, turn and twist, lock it in place. Now let's turn the meter on. I'm simply going to push the mode button to turn the meter on, and the first thing I'm going to see is the battery indication level, which will tell me if the battery is fully charged. Next, we're going to see the pH reading the temperature, and the stability indicator, which is a little clock that will go away when the meter is stabilized. Next, let's talk about calibration. Once I remove the meter from the box, it's very important to condition the electrode first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take the meter and I'm going to put it into a storage solution. In this case, it's Hanna Instruments HI70300. If you don't have a storage solution on hand, that's okay. You can use a buffer. I'm going to wait for two hours. I'm going to take the meter out of the storage solution, and I'm going to rinse it off in purified water. It's going to get all the storage solution off of the electrode. Then what I like to do is I like to blot it onto a paper towel to get any excess water off of the meter. Now we're ready to calibrate. I'm going to turn the meter on, put it back into its measurement mode, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the mode button down for three seconds until it gets into calibration mode. That's asking me, in this case, to use a number seven buffer. Now it's recording. The meter is done, is now done recording at number seven. So I'm going to rinse it off in water once again, get that buffer off. I'm going to put it into number four because that's what it's asking for. And now it's recording at number four. Okay, we're ready to use our meter. Now it's, it's important to note that you can either do a one point calibration. So if you're done calibrating at number seven and that's good enough, then you can go back into the escape mode and go into measurement and measure your, the, the pH of whatever solution you're, you're measuring. Or if you want to do a two point, depends on whether or not you're measuring an acid or a base or, or preference, then you can go into number four or number ten. It doesn't really matter. So in this case, I'm going to turn the meter off, turn it back on, go into the measurement mode. My meter is now calibrated and ready for use. Next, I'd like to talk about some setup features. The 98127 has a few setup features that are important to talk about. When the meter is in the measurement mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the mode button for three seconds, go past calibration, go to temperature. Now, if I want a Celsius reading or a Fahrenheit reading, I can simply change that setting with the set hold button. In this case, I'm going to go to Celsius. So when I do my, my temperature reading, 
I know that in the measurement mode, my reading is going to come out in Celsius. If I want to change my buffer set, I can toggle back and forth between 6.8 and 7. So in the case that I want 6.8 as my, as my starting number, then I'm going to toggle on 6.8 with the set hold button, hit the mode button, and that's going to take me back into the measurement mode. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed my demonstration of the HANA Instruments waterproof pocket pH meter. If you have any additional questions or need support, please contact your local HANA office. Thank you.